As you can see, I'm in Minecraft 1.20.4 and I'm using Optifine. I mean, how beautiful are these shaders? How beautiful is this world? We're playing with no lag issues and that is because Optifine, really. Optifine hadn't been updated since Minecraft 1.20.1, but we finally have Optifine for the newest version of Minecraft, which is 1.20.4. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to download and install Optifine as well as how to fix any issues you might face along the way and how to get shaders. And not just any shaders, but one of the most beautiful shaders ever. So let's get started with the tutorial. The first step for downloading and installing Optifine for Minecraft 1.20.4 is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, a written guide on how to download and install Optifine. Feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots. This is an in-depth guide, okay? I know some of you prefer to read, look at photos and take your time. So you could go ahead and do so. However, if you're just trying to follow along the video, all you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says download Optifine here. That will redirect you to the Optifine official website, whereas you can see we have Minecraft 1.20.4 right on the top. Go ahead and click on preview versions and we're going to download the most recent one, okay? If you arrive on the Optifine website and instead of seeing preview version, you just see something that says download right away, just like this in 1.20.1, you can go ahead and download that one for 1.20.4. However, as of right now, all we have is a preview. Go ahead and click on that and click download. The preview will still work the same way as the regular Optifine, so you don't have to worry. That will redirect you over here after you click on download. And in here, you're just gonna wait five seconds. And after five seconds, go ahead and click on skip right on the top. Once you click on skip, that will redirect you over here where we're finally going to click download. And now we're downloading Optifine. In my case, it's asking me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download automatically. Once you download Optifine, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop that file and let me make the browser a little bit smaller go ahead and drag and drop that file that we just downloaded into our desktop you can find it here in the downloads area if you're using chrome or if you're using any other browser you can find it with your downloads folder in your computer once you have the file drag and drop it over here now we have optifine of course we want to try some shaders so we're gonna go ahead and download complement here reimagine this is the shaders that you saw in the intro and in my opinion they're one of the best shaders ever for minecraft if you don't want to download the shaders you could just skip this part of the video however we're gonna go ahead and download the shaders click on the third link in the description and scroll a little bit down and click where it says download again you can read through the guide if you need to but if you just want to follow along click on download that will redirect you over here and then go ahead and click where it says files and you'll be presented with this area in here where we're going to look for the version that we're looking for in this case it's 1.20.4 which is the most recent one so you just go ahead and click on the little three dots right here and then click download file that will redirect you over here where after five seconds just like before we'll get the file to download as you can see right now we have the file downloading go ahead and download or save that file if you have the same option as me if not you would just get the file already downloaded and go ahead and try and drop it into your desktop just like we did with optifine now we have optifine the installer and we have complementary reimagining before the next step, I need you to make sure that your Minecraft launcher is closed as well as your Minecraft game. And it's very important that you have played at least one time Minecraft 1.20.4 vanilla, okay? The reason we need to play the game before we install Optifine is so we create an instance of the game before installing Optifine. So Optifine will know where to install to. Now that you have closed your launcher and your game, go ahead and right click on Optifine, click open with and select Java. This will open the installer for Optifine. However, if you didn't see Java in there, you could always go to our guide in the description, the fourth link in the description on how to download and install Java 17. That's in case you didn't get the installer to open. And that is because Optifine will require you to have at least Java 17 on your computer in order to install. So if you have any issues while installing Optifine, that might be due to a Java issue. I will leave this guide in the description as well as this guide in here on how to run a jar fix which might need a necessary step after you install Java. So what a jar fix does pretty much is that it links all your jar files like Optifine as you can see this is a jar file. It will link it to your newer installation of Java. You install Java, you run a jar fix and everything should be fixed. Anyways, I'm assuming most of you did get Optifine to open. And if you did so, go ahead and click on install. And while Optifine is installing, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server where you could play using Optifine, where you could play using mods, mod packs, Java, Bedrock, whatever type of server you want, you name it. And actually, Apex Hosting will even make the server for you with the click of a button. You could get any mod packs you want, anything you want. Well, first link in the description, get 25% off your first server. And it's as simple as that. Something that I love about Apex Hosting is that you could control the server console through your phone, so you could be away from home and still control your server. I'm gonna leave that first link in the description for 25% off and let's get back to the tutorial. As we can see, Optifine finally is installed. Go ahead and click on OK after you install it and you could even delete the installer for Optifine after you install it. 
Now we're going to add the shaders as well as test Optifine out. Go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. And once your Minecraft launcher is open, if you install Optifine properly, you should see it selected automatically right here in the bottom left. If Optifine is not showing there for you, you could always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, if modded is not selected, you won't see Optifine at all. Another way that you could add Optifine to here is by clicking on new installation and where it says version, go ahead and look for Optifine. As you can see, we have 1.20.4 Optifine. You can name this whatever you want and then click create and that will add an instance of Optifine here for you. Anyways, most of you will have Optifine when you open the launcher if you installed it properly. And now all we have to do is click on play and then click that you understand the risk and wait for the game to open. Once your game has opened, just wait for it to load. And as you can see, once it opens, it says that we're in Minecraft modded. So we know that we're in Optifine. It literally says modded down here. And if you go ahead and click on options and go to video settings, you can see that this menu has changed a little bit. And it also says Optifine down here. However, I want you to go ahead and launch a world. It could be a multiplayer, it could be a single player. If you wanna play a multiplayer and you need a server, remember you could always use that first link in the description for 25% off with Apex Hosting. As you can see, I'm in the surface right now. I'm in a world, single player world, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the shaders. All you have to do to add the shaders is press on escape, head over to options, click where it says video settings, click on shaders, and in here, you shouldn't have anything. I already have some shaders installed, but you should have this empty. What you're going to do is click on shader folders, and this will open this folder in here, which should be completely empty. Well, maybe it's empty, or maybe you have some old shaders that you had. It doesn't matter. If you want to add complementary or whatever shaders you want to add, all you have to do is drag and drop the file that we downloaded into here. Like I said, if you have some other shaders, just go ahead and try and drop that shader into here, but we're adding complementary, and that's it. And now you could select the shaders in the game. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Wait for the shaders to load. It might take a minute, it might take two minutes, it might take 10 seconds. It depends on your computer. And once the shader is loaded, you can go back into the world, you go back into the game. And look at this, isn't this beautiful? Aren't this the most beautiful shaders you have ever seen in Minecraft? I mean, come on, they gotta be up there. And that is pretty much how to install Optifine and how to get shaders working with Optifine in Minecraft 1.20.4. I hope this video was useful to you guys. If it was, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.